Central Burial Ground is the oldest burying ground in Boston. It was founded in 1630. It was also the first British church in New England. King James II ordered the creation of an Anglican church. The colonists did not like this because the Anglican religion is why the colonists settled onto the new land and did not stay in Britain. There was no place to build the church because the Puritans wouldn't sell land to the Anglican. So in 1687, Governor Andrews finally settled the problem by putting the first Anglican church in a corner of the King's Chapel burial ground. The burying ground. There are many interesting people buried at King's Chapel Burying Ground. John Winthrop is buried at the King's Chapel Burying Ground. He was the first governor of Massachusetts and a wealthy lawyer. Oh, wait. Um, he was, yeah, and a wealthy lawyer. Mary Chilton is also buried here. Legend has it she was the first woman to step on New England. This burying ground also has the oldest grave in Boston. The grave was built in 1658 and contains William Patty. The burying ground was moved into rows to make it look better, so no one knows the exact location of each grave. King's Chapel Church. King's Chapel Church is a very historic building. The chapel was first built with wood, but it was too small to fit all the people that came to the church, so they had to enlarge it. Peter Harrison was the designer of the enlarged church. He was an early architect in America. The builders built granite around the wooden structure and tossed the wood out the window and made the chapel you see today. More about the burying ground. William Dawes Jr. is buried at the burying ground. He was a part of the Boston militia and a revolutionary hero. He was also a part of the group called the um, Agent and Honorable Artillery Company of Massachusetts. William Dawes Jr. rode with Paul Revere in the Battle of Lexington and Concord. William Shirley is also buried there. He was the governor of Massachusetts in the mid-1700s. Also, George Washington came to an orientation at this burying ground. More about the chapel. The chapel has many other interesting facts. For example, the chapel was originally a town's meeting building. It was also called the Stone Chapel during the Revolutionary War. The church has been a national landmark for many years. That's it.